Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad peace be upon him narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarjan Su. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support made this channel a grand success. We are a family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into validation in the world by that. Thank you very much for your precious time. Today I'm going to discuss my lecture number 9 on a fluid catartic cracking, magic equipment, their function and purposes. Okay, before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Rabbi Shrahali Sadri wa Yassarli Amri wa Halalu Uqdatam Melisani Yafka Kali Allahumma Rabbi Sadri Ilma. Oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and lose a lot from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Sadri Ilma, O oh Allah, advance me in my knowledge and to understand. Okay, fluid cardiac cracking, abscess unit, lecture number nine. Major equipment function and purposes. Okay, key takeaway points from lecture number nine. Okay, cyclones, catastrophe cooler, office chamber, catastrophe standpipe and slide valves, reactor assembly, main column section, main column, heavy naphtha steeper. Okay, cyclones. The flue gas leaving the dense bed will carry off the smaller catast particle. Some of these settle back to the bed, others are carried higher. Measurements of intent particles taken at increasing heights above the bed showing a gradually decrease in the amount of points collected. At some point above the bed, the weight of the particles collected levels out. The height at which the gas velocity is sufficient to carry these fines out of the regenerated call the transport disengaging height or TDH. Okay. The cyclones used in the modern abscess unit used as a fairly simple principle to remove most of the particles. The catastrophe of bearing a gas enters a cylindrical through the tangential opening. The catast is 500 to 1000 times as heavy as the gas and is subjected to force a several hundred times that of the gravity as the gas swirls around the cylinder. The large particles are removed through the inertial force which tends to keep the particles moving in the straight line to collide with the wall. And the centrifugal force, which tends to throw the particles outward to collide with the wall. The collisions slow down the particles and it tends to fall. This descent is assisted up by the downward motion of the gas before it turns to go up the outer pipe. The viscous drag force of the gas will tend to carry the catast it turn to go up on the outer of pipe. Okay. Only the smaller ones are light enough to stay with the gas because the inertial and centrifugal forces acting on them are small. The catast that has begun to fall out of the gas steam swirl steadily downward due to force of gravity. The chamber blew the entrance of the cyclone tapers downward and turns to the gas disengaged and moves up. There is a more disengaging area in the hooper which feeds cutters to the deplet. This disengaging area also decreases the amount of region which could be created by the vortex of the cutters particles. Okay. Furthermore, two important factors in the cyclone efficiency are the velocity of the gas and the size distribution of the particle. Okay. In general, the higher the velocity, the higher is the efficiency. It should be remembered. However, 
that the higher cyclone velocity may mean higher vessels velocities with more catalysts carried up to the cyclones. If these are large particles, most of them will be collected, but in extreme cases, the cyclone could be overloaded and the large particles lost. This would also be true if the cyclones were damaged, the origins holes are cracked wells allowing a catalyst to bypass. The solid distributions is are not under immediate control except by the minimizing accidents break up with the steam. In general, the small affines less than 20 microns will be lost with most of the large size particles collected. The reactor cyclone generally do a better job because here the coke of the catalyst affines makes them larger and easier to collect. Okay, catalyst cooler. The ability to control and vary the amount of heat removed from the regenerator creates a high degree of freedom, moderating the regenerator temperature as limiting a constraint. The catalyst cooler provides a variable heat sink which allows the refiner to vary the catalyst oil ratio, reactor temperature and feed temperature independently of one another. The catalyst cooler tube bundle is inserted into the upper portion of the catalyst cooler standby. The boiler of feed water enters the cooler or through the inner tubes and mixtures of the water and steam exit the cooler through the annulus between the inner and outer tubes. There are fluidizations, air distribution lenses, which direct a stream of air against the bulk flow of the catalyst down to the standby. Air from the fluffing air compressor is delivered to a common manifold supplying all the distribution lenses through a flow controller. The lenses contains a restriction orifice located near the piping header at the top of the each lens to help distribution the air uniformly over the cross-sectional area of the cooler. The counter current fluidization air improves heat transfer by creating turbulence and mixing in the region of the contact up between the hot catalyst and the tubes. A differential pressure transmitter with a taps located above and below the cooler gives a direct indication of the density of the fluidized catalyst at various conditions of the catalyst flow and air injection. Mechanical reliability is achieved by locating the cooler in the dense phase of the regenerator. In the dense phase, the heat transfer coefficient is higher with permits lower catalyst and fluidization air velocities. Lower velocities minimize erosions within the cooler. In addition, the cooler tubes are located in the vertical plane. This feature generates a uniform heat transfer coefficient over the entire tube surface, thereby preventing uneven surface temperature, which cause localized citrus. Okay. Okay. Office chamber and a flue gas slide wall. The offer chamber and the flue gas slide valve control the pressure in the regenerator vessel. The offer chamber is a cylindrical vessel with a series of perforated upgrade plates. These plates hold back pressure downstream of the flue gas slide valve by reducing the pressure drop across the valve. Their operating life is greatly extended because there is no sudden acceleration of the catalyst bearing a gas stream. In the office chamber of a downward flow through, there are, are no moving parts, so no adjustments can be made on the stream. The major problem with this piece of equipment is gradual enlargement of the grid holes by regions. Okay, catalyst standby and slide well. Catalyst flow are through the refractory lined standpipes. Number one, from the regenerator to the base of the reactor riser, that is regenerated catalyst standpipe. 
number two, from the reactor to the combustor a spent catalyst standpoint. Number three, from the regenerated to combustor, recirculating a catalyst standpoint. From the catalyst cooler or to the combustor, cooled catalyst standpoint. One and two, it's depend on the design. An expansion joint in each standpipe allows the movement of the system as it heats up. The joint is lined to protect the bellows from the cactus regions. A purge is sometimes injected between the bellows and the liner to keep the area free of cactus. The purge should be 0.35 to 0.7 bar above the standpipe brushes controlled with restriction orders. The catalyst flow through the standpipe is controlled by slide well. These are gate type well driven by hydraulic cylinder because of its size and the required a fast response. The accumulator with a drive well to complete a cylindrical stokes at an approximate speed of five seconds per stroke. A continuous running a variable displacement upon maintaining the system's hydraulic pressures, the slide well can be operated in the field by joysticks located at the hydraulic box of the slide well of the hand wheel. Okay. Reactor assembly, reactor rises, reactor spent catalyst strip. Okay, first is the reactor riser. The reactor riser is a vertical refractory line pipe in which all the cracking reactions actually take place. Hot cutters enter the cold wall of Y sections at the bottom of the riser and meets the lift gas steam mixtures. Lift gas is injected onto the lift gas nozzles at the bottom of the Y sections. Cutters and lift gas travel up the riser to the feed distribution where the riser diameter increases. The increase allows for the expansion of the hydrocarbon vapors as the oil is vaporized when it meets the catalyst. Because the riser volume is a small, it limits the contact time between the catalyst and hydrocarbon. This prevents overcracking of the reduced accrued charge. At about 20% of the total riser length, feed is injected into the riser, feed and steams are mixed and injected onto the feed nozzles. A destruction or piss upstream of each nozzle provides equal pressure drop through the nozzles allowing even feed distributions. A special spray tip disperses the feed evenly across the riser. Reactor. The reactor is disengaging vessels for the catalyst and hydrocarbon mixture exit the reactor's riser. All the desired reactions are completed in the risers. The hydrocarbon and cutters exit into a high contained separation device, the vortex separation VSS. Cutters is discharged centrifugal in the horizontal plan, swirls downward along the wall of the enclosures and contacts the pre stepping vapors before entering the steeper vessels. Steam and hydrocarbon from the steepers rise counter current to the falling catalyst and leaving the reactor or through the cyclones. The top of the vessels, the lower section above the steeper and reactor rises above the steepers are lined with absorption resistance line for erosion protections. The vessel normally operates 510 to 530 degrees Celsius. External insulation is required not only for personal protection but to prevent access coke formations. Formation of the coke in the reactor prevents the use of air for heat up during a normal startup procedure. An important feature of the VSS riser termination system is to strip hydrocarbon vapors and steam rising from the stepper can be directed up through the vortex chamber counter current to the flow of spent catalyst. This counter current Contacting away the steeper vapors provides rapid pre step of the spent catalyst immediately following the initial disengagement of the catalyst and hydrocarbon vapor 
products exiting the ricin. Okay, spent catus stiffer. Spent catus from the riser contains some entrained hydrocarbon vapors. Steam is used to strip these hydrocarbon from the catus in the spent catus stiffer. Catus flows down over a several perforated or baffles in the stiffer. Steam is injected beneath the last baffle. A steam rate of 1 to 2 kg per ton of cutters circulations is normally sufficient to remove all the intent hydrocarbons. Typically, the steam flow is adjusted or during steady operation to find the minimum rate required. Steam is gradually reduced to steeper until the regenerate temperature begins to rise. The rate is increased about 10% above the minimum. Steam is also injected at the bottom of the steeper opposite of the opening to the spent catus standby. The steam is distributed through a steam ring having jets on the bottom side of the fluidized the catus. Therefore, the catus is continuously moved out of the sections preventing it from becoming a dead area. Conclusion, what we discussed during the cyclone? Catast cooler, orifice chamber, flue gas slide valve, then we catast stand pad, the reactor assembly. Okay. Next topic we are going to discuss the main column heavy naphtha steepers, light cyclo oil steeper are main column bottles. Okay. These are a few references. Please do not hesitate send me your feedback comments t.msu.dr at bath.edu. Thank you very much for your patient time. We stay safe, stay inspired and blessed. Thank you very much for your patient time.